The air over Clark Air Base crackles with anticipation as the first rays of sunlight stretch across the runway. There's a sense that something historic is about to unfold, a moment that will be remembered for generations. Today, November 22, 2025, marks a turning point for the Philippine Air Force. The base is alive with ceremony and pride as officers in crisp uniforms stand at attention, ready to witness a new chapter in their nation's story. On the sunlit tarmac sits the KF-21 Boramai, Young Hawk in Korean, a machine that looks like it flew straight out of the future. Its sleek lines and cutting-edge design reflect years of innovation and international collaboration. Its arrival signals a new dawn for the nation's defense, a bold step forward in capability and confidence. The Boramai is more than just a new aircraft, it's a symbol of hope and progress. The crowd of military officials, dignitaries, and press holds its breath, their eyes fixed on the jet that promises to redefine the country's air power. Cameras flash, capturing the moment for history. This is more than hardware, it's a declaration of intent. The Philippines is making it clear. It is ready to defend its skies and assert its place on the world stage. For years the Air Force relied on aging aircraft, limiting even its best pilots. The KF-21 changes everything. No longer will Filipino pilots be held back by outdated technology. Now they can soar with the best. This is the most significant modernization in Philippine Air Force history, a generational leap in technology. The contrast between old and new is striking, and the excitement among the pilots is unmistakable. The Boramai, a 4.5 generation fighter, places the Philippines among the world's most advanced air forces. Its advanced avionics, stealth features, and powerful engines make it a formidable presence in the skies. The national anthem plays, the flag flutters, and speeches highlight the strategic importance of this day. Pride and patriotism fill the air as the nation celebrates a leap toward a safer, more secure future. The KF-21 is not just an airplane, it's the centerpiece of a revitalized defense strategy. It represents years of planning, investment, and the unwavering commitment to protect the nation's sovereignty. As the lead Boramai's engines roar to life and it lifts off, the meaning is clear, a new era has begun. The sound of its takeoff echoes the promise of a stronger, more capable Air Force. The young hawk takes flight, carrying the nation's aspirations for security and self-reliance. Every maneuver in the sky is a testament to the skill of its pilots and the vision of its leaders. The Philippines is now a formidable player in regional security, not just a spectator. With the Boramai in its arsenal, the nation stands ready to meet the challenges of a changing world, confident in its ability to protect its people and its future. The arrival of the KF-21 Boramai Block II isn't just another upgrade for the Philippine Air Force, it represents a true transformation, a quantum leap that will reshape the nation's aerial capabilities for decades to come. For years the Air Force depended on light combat aircraft, like the FA-50PH, which served well for training and limited defense. But the Boramai is in a different league, a genuine multi-role fighter, capable of both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, and designed to meet the complex demands of modern warfare. With its advanced engines and aerodynamic design, the Boramai can fly faster, higher and farther than any aircraft currently in the Philippine fleet. It can intercept threats at greater distances and respond to emergencies with unmatched speed and agility. As a 4.5 generation fighter, it brings cutting-edge stealth features, state-of-the-art sensors, and a powerful ESA radar, allowing it to detect and track multiple targets, even in contested environments. These technologies give pilots unprecedented situational awareness, enabling them to make split-second decisions and maintain a critical edge in combat. The digital systems also reduce pilot workload, letting them focus on mission success. The Boramai's arrival marks a shift for the Philippines, from a primarily defensive stance to one of credible deterrence, signaling to the world that the nation is ready to protect its skies and interests. With this new capability the Philippines can now assertively safeguard its vast maritime zones, deter potential aggressors, and respond rapidly to any threat in the region, especially over contested waters. Pilots will transition to fully digital cockpits and advanced helmet-mounted sight systems, which not only enhance targeting and communication, but also improve safety and mission effectiveness. The combination of Filipino skill, rigorous training and cutting-edge technology will elevate the Air Force to a new level, making it a truly formidable force in Southeast Asia.
The Barame isn't just about speed or power, it's about intelligence, adaptability, and redefining what Philippine air power can achieve in the 21st century. The KF-21 Boramai stands as a powerful symbol of South Korea's ambition, innovation, and rapid technological rise on the world stage. This advanced fighter jet is not just a machine. It represents the dreams and determination of an entire nation striving to secure its future and assert its place among global powers. Born from a deep desire for strategic independence, the KFX project was launched with the bold aim of surpassing regional rivals and reducing reliance on foreign military technology. South Korea wanted to chart its own course, and the KF-21 was the answer. The project also sought to foster a robust domestic aerospace industry, creating high-tech jobs and nurturing a new generation of engineers and innovators. The journey, however, was anything but easy. The KF-21's development was fraught with technical hurdles, political debates, and significant financial challenges that tested the resolve of everyone involved. Yet South Korea's government and Korea Aerospace Industries remained steadfast, treating the KFX as a true national endeavor and a matter of pride. Indonesia joined as a junior partner, highlighting the project's international appeal and the growing reputation of South Korea's defense industry. Despite the obstacles, South Korean engineers persevered. The Boramai's first flight in July 2022 was a triumphant moment, celebrated across the nation as a testament to what determination and unity can achieve. The KF-21 project has since transformed South Korea into a major global aerospace player, opening doors to new partnerships and export opportunities. For the Philippines, the KF-21 story is deeply inspiring. It proves that technological self-reliance is possible, even for nations that once depended on others for advanced defense systems. By acquiring the KF-21, the Philippines is not just buying a fighter jet. It is joining a legacy of ambition, innovation, and achievement that will shape its own future. This is more than a simple purchase. It marks the beginning of a partnership with a nation that truly understands the drive for a stronger, more independent defense capability. The Barame story is ultimately one of perseverance, innovation, and national pride, a story that continues to inspire. Now, that remarkable legacy extends to the Philippines, opening a new chapter in its own journey towards self-reliance and technological progress. The KF-21 Barame evolves in stages, each adding new capabilities. Block 1 focuses on air-to-air -air combat, equipped with advanced radar and missiles for air superiority. Block 2 is the game-changer, transforming the Barame into a true multi-role fighter. It integrates precision bombs, anti-ship, and cruise missiles, allowing strikes on land and sea. Enhanced stealth features and radar-absorbent materials make it harder to detect. Advanced software fuses data from multiple sensors, giving pilots a clear battlefield picture. The leap from Block 1 to Block 2 creates a smarter, more versatile and survivable fighter. It's the ideal platform for the Philippines' complex security needs. The KF-21's cockpit is a leap into the future. One panoramic touchscreen replaces a sea of analog dials. Pilots customize displays for each mission, boosting situational awareness. Its ESA radar scans the sky instantly, tracks multiple targets, and resists jamming. The Boromai's first look, first shot advantage is decisive in combat. Advanced data links connect it to other aircraft, ships, and ground stations, making it a node in a network defense system. It can launch missiles at targets it can't even see, multiplying force effectiveness. The Borame's robust airframe and engines carry over seven tons of weapons and fuel. It can switch from air patrol to maritime strike in a day, maximizing versatility. For a budget-conscious air force, one jet can now fill many roles. The KF-21 is a flexible, high-tech warrior for the modern battlefield. The Philippines, with over 7,600 islands and vast maritime territory, faces immense security challenges. Incursions in the West Philippine Sea threaten sovereignty and resources. The current fleet lacks the range and firepower to patrol and defend these waters. The KF-21 Block II is designed for this mission. Long-range patrols, persistent presence, and rapid response. Its sensors can track vessels day or night in any weather, building a real-time maritime picture. The Boramai's anti-ship missiles provide 
a powerful deterrent against aggression. It's not just a patrol aircraft, it's a credible weapon system to defend maritime rights. With the KF-21, the Philippines can finally enforce its sovereignty from the sky. The KF-21 Boramai would be the biggest leap in Philippine Air Force history. It shifts the PAF from internal security to true air superiority and power projection. This credible deterrent forces adversaries to think twice before acting. The Boramai enables long-range patrols, offensive sweeps, and precision strikes, missions once out of reach. It elevates the Philippines as a regional security partner, improving alliances and interoperability. The arrival of the Boramai boosts morale and attracts top talent to the Air Force. It's a tangible sign of national investment in defense and a stronger military future. Buying the KF-21 Boramai impacts more than the military. It deepens economic ties with South Korea, potentially bringing manufacturing and high-tech jobs to the Philippines. Technology transfer and training will build a skilled local workforce and support a future aerospace industry. The deal signals a commitment to a rules-based order and diversifies defense partnerships. It strengthens diplomatic flexibility and strategic autonomy. The move could inspire regional modernization, contributing to a more stable security environment. The Philippines positions itself as a serious player in Indo-Pacific security. The Boramai is a catalyst for economic, political, and military transformation. Acquiring the KF-21 Boramai comes with challenges. Cost is the biggest. Long-term funding, maintenance and training require national commitment. Pilots and technicians must master advanced systems, demanding new training and facilities. Integrating the jet means building a whole support ecosystem. Diplomatically, the Philippines must frame the purchase as defensive, not provocative. Despite hurdles, the vision is clear, a modern, self-reliant air force, ready to defend the nation. The image of a Filipino pilot in a Boramai, patrolling the West Philippine Sea, is a symbol of pride and determination. The young hawks will secure the nation's destiny from above.